Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. I have let the base run overnight. There is plenty of stuff that has been built up as we're on a new piece of catwalk. And we have a new fighter ship all decked out, ready to kick ass. Well, let's go take a look at what we've gotten here new. We have these little dock areas with these little pods, these little spots that we can set our ships down on and we're going to be setting up with our ships remote control autopilots to auto dock us and we have an example of that with the new fighter which we'll show off in just a moment it it's a little big right now and doesn't have that many guns so in the future i'm gonna have to I have to really increase the amount of bullets on this thing i feel Right now it's just got four Gatlings and the single missile turret. I don't feel like that is enough for what this thing's going to be going up against. But it does have a shield, which is quite nice. I went and mined some more gold, and that is excellent. Uh, beyond that, I cleared out all of the stones from this corner so that I could start putting out some gantryways and setting up some docks. The new dropship is all ready to rock. Of course, minus a shield, because that's a lot of field uh, emitters that I need to mine up, and uh, some hydrogen, as the base is out of ice. Again. Again. Yes, again. So we're just running off of what we have in the tanks, which is a lot of hydrogen, so we're not really like running out anytime soon, but we still do need to uh, get some more. So we're going to go on another trip soon, back to Earth, maybe with this ship, just to get one more trip out of it. And maybe with this ship as its inaugural trip. I don't know. Uh, all of the turrets here now have armor plating, which makes them a little bit nicer. But I, I kind of need to start painting the base various colors. As... Oh god, there's something going on in the background there. There is some combat going on. Uh, just dark gray is start, starting to become a little monotonous. So if you guys have any ideas on what I could do to like liven up the base with colors, some color palette that you think would look really good across the entire base, let me know. Uh, the ground, the concrete are just going to stay dark gray. That's the only thing I'll keep dark gray. But everything else I could theoretically change. And what are you? A trans U receiver. A reaver is fighting over there. Destroying something. It is not near my gold station so i don't care but we could go and take a peek at it as let's go and see what we can do uh da -da, we will uh, unlock from the base we will do, do can i not unlock from the base please turn our thrusters tanks back off oh and we need to landing gear landing gear Frickin' unlock, please. Thank you. Oh, now to quickly unlock and uh, lock and relock from the base in order to get our our uh, magnetism turned off. All right. So block weapons. We have Gatling guns, which we have plenty of ammo for. Twenty-one thousand rounds. Test them out. Excellent. They work. We've got our missile turret on the top. The transu receiver. <laughs> receiver. Reaver is right there and I think it is time to go and shoot it because we can always drag it back to base if we're having troubles with it let's go see what we can do new fighter hey Reaver how you doing let's take a look at it it is a little damaged doesn't look like it's got too much it's a gatling on the top bottom there along with a missile turret it is starting to gain a little bit of height Let's, uh, oh, not get out of our cockpit. That is a very bad thing to do. Let's go take a strafing run at this thing. Fire off a couple missiles with our missile turret, which I haven't done any settings for. Oh, I should probably not doing that right now. We've got its attention. Uh, time to go and bring it back to base. As base has the bullets. Come here. Come on, baby. Come here. I know you want to. I'm outside of your missile range now, you know that? Now I can check my, tur my turret. Uh, good. Max range. 
We are not shooting missiles, not shooting characters. Very good. You gonna come? Oh yes, you are. Come here, little bait, little thing. You can't handle the truth, and that is the truth of massive Gatlings. It's gonna start. It's gonna start soon. All right, we're gonna go and go over this direction. Try to keep it from flying directly over the base. We just want it to be barely in range, and oh god, there's the lag from all the Gatlings. They're all opening up. Base is being targeted. All right, we need to get in here and help out. Move in. Blast this thing. How's the base? Shield still on there? Yep, shield is still on and still healthy. Die, you transu. We're gonna go for that turret there. We're shooting it up. Got it off. Alright, next up. I see something shooting there. We're gonna try to take it out. But it's not going down. We don't want to get in the way of our own Gatling guns, that's for sure. As the the base is giving us some wonderful covering fire. <laughs> oh god, there's so many bullets. Yeah. Yeah, you're 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 kinda getting shredded, aren't you? Mr. Transu. You can't handle this. And he should be going down here very shortly. Let's aim for some of his engines and knock them out. Try to get him to fall out of the sky. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he's starting to fall. Now, question is, is he going to fall on the base? If he does, I should be okay. The base should repel his landing, if I'm not mistaken. But he's going to come down really close to the base, actually. As the turrets are continuing to open up on him. As he lands just outside the base. And the turrets are continuing to shred all of his important components. Let's help them finish it off as the last bits of the Transu are taken out. Alright, something I should do on here is get my missile turret. Uh, why do I have two of them here? I only have one. I do not know why. Uh, toggle or block on off. Okay, there. So we're not wasting any more missiles on this. So, yeah. A little bit of damage downrange. Doesn't look like there's uh, any damage done to the base. Oh, don't want to crash into it. Nope. None of the Gatling guns shot themselves, at least. Looks like the base is in working order. And this is shooting at something, but the Gatlings are not engaging it. For some reason. Let's go take a look at what this is. It is... What is this? Just another something. Oh, it looked like it was a camera. Boom. Gotcha. Alright. And now you are a burning wreck. <laughs> now, you may notice that I have a series of waypoints right here. I've got fighter, dock, approach, one, two, and lock. And what I've done is I've set up a series of approach lines, essentially, for this fighter to auto dock. And you can see there with the five key that I can activate my auto docking procedure. Now, the funny thing about this is that it is not centered. So normally I would try to get the thing so it's directly over the center of the connector, like right here. However, this one is here. It's just off center. So because of that, it is not going to properly dock every single time because it's going to try to align uh, essentially, oh God, that is a weird, effect there. I thought like the looks like the shield being absolutely tiny. 
uh, I should turn off those effects in a moment. It's going to basically align with this thruster instead of an actual docking port, which is annoying. So, uh, shield control. Let's just set it as visible on hit. Low reflective. There we go. So what this needs to do is first fly to a docking approach here, and then it'll turn to face this approach. It'll fly to that, which will line it up, and then it'll go down to the docking port. So that's how they, uh, the autopilot works. So now that I'm done my combats and I've taken out the enemy, all I have to do is press 5 and sit back as my ship automatically takes me into dock. And once I get there, I currently have no ice on the base, so I'm just running off stockpiled hydrogen. We can see I currently have only 74% hydrogen on the ship in the single large tank it has. When I get there, it should automatically dock up. We go to the first point. We turn to face the second point. We fly to the second point, And then we fly down to dock perfectly, well, hopefully perfectly aligned. Good enough, hopefully. But it uh, didn't lock up. God damn it. There we go. Now it's locked up. <sighs> Close. Close but no cigar. Let us try that one more time. As I, will, I refuse to have this fail. And we need one more into our fighter batteries. There we go. Get that thing locked. I set this all up and I tested it so many times and it worked perfectly, damn it. And then I try to make a video out of it and it fails horribly. God damn it. Come on, line up and then straight on down and lock. There, it worked. Okay, that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, it just has a tendency there right at the very end to turn. And I think... <clears throat> I'm not sure. Somehow I gotta get this so that it's not doing that little turn right at the end. The other way I was thinking is that if we just... Right now it goes... Uh, if I put this to full of thing, it goes approach one to approach two and then down to dock. Alternatively, what you can do is you could just have it just go to approach one and then down to dock. So if we take this and we remove this completely, let's our our sort of startup procedure is seven eight nine and then we can fly away. So that makes it nice and easy. So if we do that, instead of coming like at a more steeper angle, we're going to come around a more shallow angle down towards lock, which would be kind of interesting. All right, so let's press the button. We will turn towards approach one. We'll fly to approach one. We will turn towards lock. And then fly down to lock. So, eh, that kind of works too. But yeah. If you need to have your ship pointing in a very specific direction to lock up properly, you need to offset your uh, your approach. If you can, I would say want to have an approach that's way back over here, but I can't. The building's in the way. I will most likely take this fighter and I'll add another uh, point right here, another uh, docking port that will have the fighter approach from like way out here it'll be like docking docking one docking two docking three with a lot bigger areas in between that'll straighten it out much more so it's flying perfectly straight into the base right now it doesn't have much space in order to straighten up but yeah that's how you can 
do that. We'll just turn those off from our view, as we don't need to be able to see them at the moment. And we'll leave them for now. We'll clean them up in a bit. But the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to see what happened to the fighter with salvage. And there's a trans U out there, which is what we just shot down, I believe. Thankfully, we had the base here to help us with this shoot down, which means that, you know, we basically took no damage. And <gasps> a large reactor. 300 uranium minutes. Lay! So uh, hopefully the nanites are getting to work, doing their salvaging. If not, we need to... Uh, uh, ooh, we should probably do some of this before we actually leave, because if I leave and all that stuff despawns, that would not be a good thing. Because I, I really need to start cleaning up some of the stuff in this save. It's starting to get a little laggy and starting to take a while to load. So that is not a good thing. Uh, yeah, that went pretty quick. Inventory full. Holy crap. Uh, can I put this into here? I can. And that would probably make its way into storage compartments. But, like, holy crap. I need to clean up this save. So I'm contemplating deleting out, if not just going back to uh, salvage some of the bases that I have. Because... Like, Earth Base is still loaded right now and functioning, but am I really going to go back to Earth Base and, like, use it? I Inventory. realistically just need to go back and grind it down, but I don't need the resources from Earth Base. It's just a bunch of iron, and I have, like, billions of iron up here, considering all of the, uh, uh, like, stone that I've processed. I have, like, quite literally thousands of iron. Uh, let's see. Iron. Yeah, like 2.4 million there. 7.8 million there. Like 300, like 300, like another million there. Another couple thousand there. Like just too much iron. Another million there. Another 9.7 million there. I don't need iron ever again. So I'm contemplating just deleting some of the bases and some of the things that I don't need anymore. Like, if I do the, um, this is the cheaty bits. You can go into the admin tools and you can cycle objects. And if I go by biggest grids, of course, the base, because it is the biggest grid. But then this thing sitting there on earth processing, I could just get rid of it. And we got a few other crash things, like there's a reaver ship that we need to clean up. Of course, there's my fighter, and the ship's flying around in the local space, but those uh, are fine. So I just need to clean up the save and delete some stuff and uh, get rid of things. Make things happy. <gasps> oh my god. Full ion thrusters with all their components intact. Oh, how wonderful. Ah, oh, joyous. Joyous, joyous, joyous. Okay, this reactor. Give me that uranium. Uh, do you guys even have power? You don't. So you're probably going to despawn the moment I leave, which is very annoying. I don't want that to happen. Uh, I guess I could theoretically just throw a battery on you for now so I can come back to you later, which is super annoying. I'd like to just have to just get you later. But I suppose I could throw a battery on you for now. And then, that way, everything will be fine. Nanite's healing me up. And need one more thing here. Successfully drew remaining items to build a battery. And if we throw a battery on the edge of this... These things should power back up, and this battery will keep it around for 41 days. Perfect. That's all I really needed. So now I don't have to uh, worry about that despawning right away, and I can go off on an adventure in the meantime. 
This is just... Oh, this could have some ice in it. Oh, yes, it does have some ice in it. Please give me ice. I need ice in this base very badly right now. I'm not going to put it in the base because it would just get consumed by uh, my stuff. I'm going to just keep it in the fighter itself. I'm going to detach the fighter from the base and actually go and just land it here for a second. <laughs> there we go. And can't really access it, but we want to throw the ice in, which I think I can do from the cockpit. Uh, H2, can I put it in? Yes, I can. Excellent. Because I want the fighter to have some ice before I go off and do some more fighting. But also, ooh, ooh, ooh for this ice, I should put, was this 3,000? I should put it into this thing, because then this thing would have a little bit of... Uh, ice to uh, start up its engines and start filling its tanks and I could maybe theoretically cut this thing off and start it flying because that should get, should get sucked away yep and the hydrogen generator the H2O2 gen here should do it there's so many medical nanites flying around me and now we have power on this ship uh, so, at bare minimum, I want to cut this away and get it down to the f surface here. So, this is, I'm going to need to be quick for this. Because it's not going to have much ice. Go, 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 go. This thing is going to run out of hydrogen very quickly, and I don't want it to fall. Because it's only got 3%. Right? This is not a ship yet. Uh, info, convert to ship. So slowly drop it down. And landed. Okay, good. So this bad boy is landed. We've got 11 days of power on here. More than enough. And if we take a look at our control panel, our tanks, we have so many hydrogen tanks. They're filled with hardly anything. And just a little bit of oxygen. Just so I can have some extra auction if I need it. So, all right, this thing has been cut off from the base. Oh, I'm just doing so much cleanup today. It's absolutely wonderful. And cut back this little arm, and we can do the same to this projector. And we have dropship Mark II ready to go. Although, it really needs a little bit more uh, hydrogen. What we need to do is use the tiny bit that I have to maneuver it nice and close, and then connect it up with a connector, suck some hydrogen onto it, and then take it away to Earth to go get some more. But in the meantime... Doo -doo -doo, there we go. We have got plenty of fuel on the fighter. This fighter can go forever. So let's go. <gasps> Super Gremlin! Super Gremlin! Okay, this is something that I wanted to find so much. Super Gremlins. I'm going to show you guys. They have a full intact um, jump drive on their top. So I want to take this Gremlin down without destroying that jump drive. So let's go get close to this thing. I want to get that thing. I want to take it out. I want to haul its carcass back to the base and salvage that jump drive to get all of its juicy, juicy superconductors, which then I can, I can uh, deconstruct and turn into uh, uh, pure gold for my purposes. So let's take a peek at this guy. Uh, let's see. He is above me, going away from me. All right. So let's raise up. Uh, my turret is off right now, so I won't do any fighting. Uh, there's a turret on the bottom. There's a missile turret and a Gatling turret on top. But right beside that missile turret and Gatling turret, we'll see in a few moments here. Oh. 
the fuck? Where did my camera view go? <gasps> he despawned! The bastard! He went and despawned! Oh my god, that's annoying. <sighs> oh well. Let's go see what's happening out here at the Transview. We have hydrogen for days, so we should be fine. Turn off our dampeners and coast our way out. We got lots of ice, lots of missiles, lots of extra missiles as well, a little bit of extra components. So let's see what's going on out here. This guy is not despawning. Finder with salvage. Yeah, it's not here anymore. That's a rock. That's a rock. Those are planets. That's a rock. It's just the transu. God damn it. You destroyed everything. So I guess I can get rid of that fighter with salvage. It's not. It's not anything. Fighter is completely gone. And that salvage is as well. So me trying to bring back that salvage was just a false hope. It, the clanging gremlin? Why there's so many things spawning right now? This is insane. There's also an assault corvette from Reavers, but that's 10k away. Uh, my antenna on this thing is only 500 meters, so I don't have to worry about that. Because if you put out your antenna really far, they will come for you. Clanging gremlin. I have no idea if that has a jump drive or not. Let's just check out this transview. I want to see if it's still alive. Because it's on fire. And we'll just get barely within range. That is a missile turret right there. So I want to see if it's possible to shoot that missile turret off. And not have my turret be active here. So, 800... Whoa, yep, it's alive. It's alive. It is very alive. Alright, back out from 800 meters. Thankfully, missiles blow up at 800 meters. So, we need to get this guy somehow. Right at 800 meters, missiles blow up. So... Oh, there we go. Starting to shoot me. Dear God, there's so many missiles coming in my way. Let's try to do a strafe, how about? We'll just keep wiggling ourselves back and forth. We got rid of those guns. Our shield is taking a little bit of damage, but we're just going to zip on by here as we pepper it with bullets and then stop up and see what we can do here. I want to get that gun is gone. Where is the next gun? There is one. The shield's getting a little toasty. All right, the next, next gun's gone. I want to salvage this thing. It's going to be mine. Seems to be all the guns on it. <laughs> Let's go around the bottom side. Nope, there's still some down here. Take it out. Looks good. Oh, there we go. Still more. God damn you. Silly thing. So we know this thing has a large reactor because the other one we take out, we 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 took out. It's also got these uh, pods of ion thrusters, which are quite nice, and I want to steal. Uh, what's forward on this ship? Forward looks to be here. Oh, missiles. We'll knock those out. Because they'll probably shoot at me if I get in front of them. 
Very good. Yeah, we don't want those shooting at me. Because those would hurt. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like this thing is taken care of. So let's see what we can do. Uh, what are we going to consider the top of this thing? Does it even have a top? Is it capable of atmospheric flight? Or at least, um, uh, okay, it's got that line of thrusters pointing downwards. Does it have a line of thrusters pointing upwards like that? Just a couple. Okay, so this is probably the top of it. So let's just come into here and let's dock up on the top. Ow. Okay, shield's getting in the way, which is not a good thing. But this thing isn't going anywhere, and we'll just leave it there. Let's go in. Okay. So we need to find a way in for this thing. Let's take this hydrogen thruster off. And we have an O2 generator. We'll hack it down and grind it up and get access. Okay, what do we got in here? Turrets. There is interior turrets. So we do have an interior, which really sucks. Uh, I hate that. I hate that when that exists. So somewhere in here is a way inside and there's turrets protecting it. I don't want to deal with that. I just want to have the ship. Oh, is there gravity? Oh, no, there isn't. Is there? Oh, there is a gravity. It's this way is up for the ship. Oh, okay. So I am. I am. Uh, upside down. I'm on the bottom of the ship. So let's go around to the top of it. Just go around. And this is the top of the ship. Uh, right here. Okay. Leave my fighter there. Eeks it. So now. Let's make our way inside. Oh, jeez. I don't want to die out here. Gotta check my angles. Somewhere in there is a turret. I'm just shoot shooting that off, really. I don't want to get close to it to uh, have to grind it out. Okay, there is a couple doors. This tube hopefully is giving me cover. And also I can look through uh, partially completed blocks like this to see where things are. There is the reactor. I don't need the bits from the reactor so I could just shoot it out and damage it. And once it's smoking, because I just need to turn the power off to the base, like to the whole thing, essentially. Because once that's done, then I don't need to worry. The power's off. Oh, right here's the entrance door. Let's head on in. Double check this. Uh, do you have batteries? You don't. Reactors? You have incomplete. All these small reactors are incomplete. Large reactor is access denied. So, if I'm correct, we should just be able to shoot out this reactor a bit more. My shooting. Reinforced glass there? So it doesn't seem like the reactor is taking any damage. Hmm. 
This is this is taking way more bullets than I expected it to. There. And all the lights went off. Okay. Now it should be safe to enter. There's a turret, and it's deactive. Excellent. Okay. There we go. Oh, there was a turret here. So frightening. And we'll just go through the ceiling here. No need to worry about going through the doors. Power our way into the components here. Another freaking turret right in here. And there we go. We have this uh, base pretty much. This ship. And we can haul her down for salvage. Uh, da, da, da. All right. Where is my fighter again? A uh, fighter right there. All right. Now. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. This is a remarkably larger than the last thing I tried to haul down. But it should work out. You tried to get my previous salvage, so I take you as salvage, bastard. And... nope. Shield's not gonna like me. Ah, shield emitter. Shield... down. We gotta get ourselves... Touching against it, and then park up. <laughs> and now haul it away. <laughs> oh, I love my little fighters can do such things. I mean, it's completely unrealistic to haul such a big thing with such a small fighter. We should realistically come up here with a dropship to hold this thing down at the same time go and uh, turn off the uh, base turret so they don't rip it to absolute shreds but this thing now should be fine it shouldn't have any issues with antennas on it assuming I turn off this uh, fighter antenna So now I should be able to leave this here, and it should be fine, and I can go back with my suit. And this thing's got two days of power, and I can just leave it here. And it can station keep for this thing. Oh my god, this is so awesome, this, this, this reaver that I've captured. And I can grind this thing down and turn it into wonderful stuff. Alternatively, I could try to resurrect it and make it a new ship, and just have it as a drone <laughs> that could follow me around and help but uh clanging gremlin i'm gonna let you go for now all right little ship you're not moving are you why are you slowly moving ever so slowly you're moving It's like half a meter per second, but it's moving. <sighs> okay. We need to leave this thing here. This. Oh. I powered it back up accidentally. I didn't mean to do that. And now I'm in the middle of the ship. Okay. I gotta take care of these turrets now. Do you still not like me? Well, yeah. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Let's go get the dropship. <laughs> oh my god. What did I just do? I completely screwed up the world. That is what I did. We need the dropship to haul that thing down anyway, so we're taking this up to go get it. To go get my little fighter and get my stuff. All right. Unlock. Let's go. We got a bunch of hydrogen. Power off. Body location, 5k away. The 
power of the dropship is coming. We're gonna haul this thing down right now. We'll do it all in one episode. It'll be glorious. Ah, dropship. Soon you will be replaced. Because your replacement is already here, but soon. Oh, shit, shit. Whoa, going a little too fast. Zoop, right past it. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. Pull up to break. Pull up to break. Flip it around. And back towards. Uh, nope, that's the wrong way. Where's my body location? Right there. Do -do -do 10 meters per second, and we'll coast in now. I mean, there's some important things on my body. I don't have my gun. Oh, my God. We're going to have to get into the fighter and reshoot re re the frickin' uh, thing off. Just to power down the ship. And then I'll go in, disable the turrets, and then repower the ship. My God. This is such an annoying little feat here. To get this reaver salvaged. Uh, here we are. Flip ourselves around. Uh, which way is up? Uh, there's the fighter, so this way is up. And we'll park ourselves right here for now. Come here, fighter. I need you for your directional weapons. to look into here. And get that thing destroyed. Dangerous encounter? No thank you. There. Alright. Now I can go get my body. <laughs> Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I need my stuff. Gimme all my stuff. Oh, that's a lot of scrap metal. There we go. Okay, I can get out. Okay. Deposit. And let's go disable all those interior turrets while it the thing is turned off. Go away, you. Okay, that's one. Uh, the one down here was destroyed. There should be one over here. Yes, there is. Goodbye, you. And where else was one? There were ones in the cockpit that I have disabled that one. Uh, remote control is damaged. And so we'll grind down the control station and we'll hack it. No fuel. Turrets. Everything's incomplete. Finally. Okay. It's all done. Now can I repair this thing again or did I damage it too much? I just need some computers, eh? I can get some computers from something in here. You've got computers. I don't need you. 25 more. Remote control block. They're damaged. Okay. These things, they got computers. I got hundreds of them. Excellent. And now this thing is back to life. Grind that down, and can I take control of it? Can I actually fly it? I can. Excellent. Oh, okay, so I can fly this down. So, considering all the ships that I have up here right now, we should do a little bit of an amalgamation and fly down a blob of them. So we're going to take the fighter, and we'll go and dock it in the dropship. Then we'll take the dropship. Oh, can this thing even fit in the dropship? Uh, maybe this way. This is a big fighter. Can it fit? Oh, it's a big boy. Yeah, not really. That's a little too big for that. Uh, let's just put it on the roof. <laughs> oh, geez, that was a little fast. And we'll just... Plunk it down there. 
Something I need to do is put these landing gear into a group. Fighter gear. Then can I type? Thank you. And gear. Fighter gear. Switch lock. Alright, so that's locked to the roof, hopefully. Did I get that right? Nope, I did not. Switch lock, goddammit. There you go. Now you're locked. Okay, so that's locked to the roof there. For this thing, I want to deactivate all of its turrets. Designators are all off. Okay, good. So this thing is not going to shoot up this. And now what I can do is I can take the dropship, and I can lock onto that ship, and I can haul that ship down. It is, uh, oh, wonderful. Wonderful combination, amalgamation of a ship here. Oh, that little guy's trying to... break. Interesting. Because he's trying to uh, counter his movement there. Eh, oh well. The dropship can overpower him. Come on down here. Align with something, I would assume. Put my... Forward left pad right down onto him somewhere. Oh, I know. I can get the uh, my back pad on one of these little projections coming out here. Boom. Excellent. We have an amalgamation. Okay. We have a great big pile of ships all in one. I need to go up to this guy. Jump in, turn off his dampeners. Go to this guy, jump in and turn off his dampeners. So that way they're all not trying to fight the uh, dropship as he's driving in. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, dropship should be able to carry this. We'll see what our current weight is, because I know I can carry a full load of cargo and just barely take off from Earth, so... Eh, we should be able to fly this. The only downside is that, uh... We're going to, uh, Have to deal with the base turrets. So we're gonna have to land a kilometer or so away, drop this off, and leave it there to uh, get processed. So let's aim for the edge of my little zone there and push down towards that. Excellent. And down we go with the receiver. Why do I keep calling it receiver transu? My god. The reaver transu in tow. Alright, we're coming down. We're a bit off of the terrain here. 1,300 meters up. We're going to start slowing down. We got more than enough thrust to, to carry this, which is actually pretty impressive, considering this one ship is carrying two others, and it's just not even breaking a sweat. God, and, and, and to think, this is only three large thrusters down. The new ship has six down. It has double this lifting power. Like, it's going to be ridiculous. If I make a hauler version of the new ship, oh yeah, it's going to be able to lift, like, like, copies of itself, easily. But we'll bring this down right here, as this thing still has power, it would still be considered an enemy if I brought it any closer to the base, and so we will leave it right down here. Nice and relatively safe landing. Unlock from it, and you can stay there. And we'll fly back to the base with our our friendly ships. Our thing with fighter in tow.
Ne. Ah, <laughs> oh, wonderful base. But yes, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We had some fun. We got some more salvage. We fought some more ships. And that's always a fun thing to do. And we got a... Uh, a new fighter ship. I'm going to go set it to automatically dock again. I want to do that right at the end here. We'll come down and land. Dock up. Excellent. Let's go get the fighter off the top. And we'll set it to land, and that is what we will end the episode on, is the automatic landing. So, unlock from here, position ourselves in a place where we won't run into the base, just fly ourselves over here. Oh, frickin' put your dampeners on. Oh my god, I almost flew into the, the frickin' ground because of that. And turn on autopilot, and let autopilot take me in for the end of the thing. It's like, docking, engaged. Welcome home, Commander. Pad 1 is ready. Dock 1 ready. And... <laughs> and just... It's almost appropriate that the moment at the very end it missed the dock and now I'm just in a dead ship sitting here on the pads. Eh, whatever. It works. But that is going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching and good hunting.